Welcome back to PvP Showdown, a series where I take on Pokemon Go creators in a best of three PvP match. And today we're gonna to be taking on Zionic, the king of Pokemon Go PvP content. And we got a very special meta for you today. Let's get into round one and I'll explain it. So today we are doing a spin the wheel challenge. We have a certain amount of Pokemon on this wheel and you have to build your team with what you get. And my first Pokemon is gonna be Staraptor. Okay, and let's check out what our second Pokemon on our team is going to be. Please be good, please be good. Okay, not bad. Arcanine, I guess we'll take it. And my final Pokemon on my team. What do we got here? Bibberol. Yeah, Bibberol. That's not even how you spell Bibberol. <laughs> Let's hope for some strong Pokemon here. Spin number one is going to be... Arcanine, okay. Got some interesting move sets there. We already got Arcanine on the team. Would love some cross covers, maybe a grass type. Close, Swallet. Swallet? It is gonna be Swallet. Okay, that got an update with Mudshot, so that should be fun. Pokemon number three, I would really love a Grass type. Grass type. Durant. That is not a Grass type, but we'll make do. Durant, uh, Swallet, and Arcanine. Okay, Zionic, let's see what you were able to get. Leading into a Durant. Okay, I know this thing has Stone Edge. Durant versus Staraptor. Oh no! But this is not the worst matchup for me. I can actually stay in this. Well, let's see if I can get to this Stone Edge. Actually, Durant's putting in work here with Bug Bite. And I think I can just spam flies here pretty easily. I should even potentially be able to catch a Stone Edge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this gonna be... Hold on, let's see what Durant can do. No, it's gonna be fly. Boom! Okay, that just see straight ya. up one shots. All right. Fly is just gonna go ahead and one shot. Okay. Okay. I don't I think he over predicted the potential power. All right Good job Durant. You done well. Arcanine now gonna come in load up on some energy We do have psychic fangs and crunch So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a fly here grab a shield and then I can go into my own Arcanine His Arcanine has fire fang, which is actually really good. We're gonna go ahead and stop that fly over invest We do see a swap out into another Arcanine So we're gonna go ahead and go for the psychic fangs And then also this means that if he does swap out here That means I can align my bib roll onto his Arcanine, which is huge now Arcanine does have wild charge So he's probably gonna go for it. So I will respect it with a shield he does just go with the fire fang uh, the psychic fangs We do get a shield we're gonna go ahead and counter swap into Swallet now. Get ahead on energy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and no shield this. We have the Psychic Fangs. Now Swallet, I know can learn, what can it learn? Uh, I, I, I know it can learn Ice Beam and Sludge Bombs. Okay, so they have it as well, dang. All right, they got another one. We're gonna go ahead and shield. I was hoping he didn't have Psychic Fangs, but yeah. We're gonna go ahead and shield that. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, interesting. Interesting here. I'm gonna go ahead and shield this just because I want to get some damage off on this. He does decide to shield, so he's wanting to take to KO the Swallet here, so maybe it was a mistake bringing it in. And then we should pretty much be able to sweep up with Bibroll. The Arcanine in the back with Fire Fang. Actually, you know, Arcanine in the back. Do I want to... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and KO this. I'm kind of debating this. Fangs that does land, but we are able... Okay. I think he's out of energy now though, so I might be able to soften him up. It all depends on what that third Pokemon is going to be. This should be a GG, am I right? Okay. He could wild charge me is the issue here. We're gonna come in. Oh no, he's got a Bibberall in the back. No! Are we about to get wild charged by the Arcanine? Please tell me this is a Psychic Fangs. <laughs> no! Oh, okay, he's not running wild charge. Unfortunately, fell very far behind. Could have maybe stayed in with Arcanine there. If he had the wild charge there, things could have potentially got a little bit dicey. Looks to be a good game. GG says Ionic. Unfortunate, not shielded. I think he should have shielded the Durant. I don't think he uh, knew how much that fly was gonna do, but uh, let's hop into round two. <laughs> Okay, time for round two and to choose new mods, but a rule we didn't explain is that you can keep one of your Pokemon from each round and bring it into the next. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep Bibberl around, but let's go ahead and see what we get on our new team here. Please be something good. Okay, Lapras. And then our third Pokemon on the team, along with Bibberl and Lapras, will be... Come on, please be something good. 
not bad. Team's really weak to grass, though. All right, so that last one was rough, um, but I'm gonna keep Swallet. I think Swallet's a good one, and I'm gonna go ahead and reroll two. And I'm going to get... Ivysaur, we got Ivysaur, so we do have a grass, which is gonna be nice. And then Pokemon number two is going to be... Viper. Okay, so a double poison. I like this setup. It's gonna be a double poison team. Okay, Sand Slash. Oh no, the mortal enemy. The last thing we wanted to see when I said our team was weak to grass. Sand Slash. That's a really good lead. We will take that. Let's see what he's got in the back. He's gonna go ahead. Oh, he's gonna stay in. Maybe he's double weak. He might have a water in the back. Okay, so we definitely need to stay in this and just go Night Slash spam here. We need to try to get this thing as low as possible and then double shoot shield ice shard down with lapras that's like our only win con here uh this is probably just gonna be night slash i can let this go it's all about that next one if he gets the boost too oh i should have kept the star raptor i'm starting to regret this uh gonna go ahead and let that through he's gonna try to win cmp ivysaur beats sand slash in cmp this is gonna be forcing his shield if he wants to keep sand slash alive and he might have water in the back because he might have kept bibrol boom see ya i think it's a lot better to just go with a lapras um farm down. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully he doesn't switch out. That could be the worst thing for us. And it was a water in the back. It was Lapras, which means final Pokemon. If we're doing uh, team deductions here based on the rules, I think he kept the Bibberall. We're just going to need to double shield the Lapras here. If he switches out, I think we lose here. I think, I swear, I think he does. I think we lose. He might just go for double shields, which... Okay, that's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and power whip. We're gonna swap out into our Viper and start going to town. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Surf to Chip and then we're gonna go into Bib here. I need to keep the Lapras around because it's the only thing that can really handle. I think I can, I think I can shield. Oops, I meant to hit shield there. <laughs> Whoopsies, that's all right. And we have to keep a shield as well. So we're just gonna let this through. I know this thing can have Crunch and Poison Fang. I've ran it before. I think he's probably gonna go for the Crunch. We're gonna soften up the uh, the good old Bibberall here with a Poison Fang. And then our Poison Jab should be doing a lot of damage. Goes to the Poison Fang, fair enough. Trying to get that Poison Jab damage in. Now, granted, I will say the Ivysaur is probably in Surf range. Now, he's gonna be able to get to a Surf in time, but I think it's gonna be worth shielding and farming down. Problem here is a farm down from Ivysaur. Ivysaur might seal the deal. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the Surf here. We're gonna shield. I think, uh, I think we get the Power Whip on the back end here. Oh, we do, that's huge. I need to get this thing into one Ice Shard range. If this is in one Ice Shard range, I might have a chance. If that Ice Shard KOs, I might have a chance. As we can go ahead and go for uh, the Power Whip. This is probably gonna get his final shield, and I think he knows. I think he knows the Swallet's coming. I haven't seen what Pokemon he kept. Maybe it was Arcanine? He decided to keep Swalot. So Swalot here thankfully has neutral damage with Sludge Bomb. We gotta get to it quick. I don't want him to get to that, uh, oof. Don't want him to get to that Skull Bash. No, if I wanna go for Skull Bash or double, I might, I should have maybe gone for Skull Bash here. We're gonna go ahead and shield. It is gonna be Surf. That's fine. This is gonna be close. I think just because he has a shield, that might be the GG's. There's a CMP tie. Lapras is bulky. I think we still win this. We should be able to. But one more is gonna take us out. And I don't think another surf. We're gonna need like three surfs. If this is Skull Bash, so be it. I think we survived though. Lapras, don't have it. No, he's got a surf. That's okay. Swallet's gonna be taking this one. No, I think that's gonna be a GG Zyotic. Okay, well, it's getting close. One and one. So I get game two right there. Good game to Daxi. But uh, team reading, right? We saw the Lapras and the Sand Slash, so we knew it was probably Vibberall in the back. So I'm probably gonna consider keeping Lapras for the next round. Let's see what team we get. Okay, well, let's go ahead and spin for the final round here. What's gonna be our second Pokemon? Please be something that beats grass. Yes, that's great. Golbat is amazing. Okay, and then our final Pokemon for the final round. Just be something good. Just be something good. That is very good. That is very good. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm gonna keep the Ivysaur because Daxi has to keep one of those three and they're all weak to Ivysaur. So my guess is he keeps the Lapras. So roll number one is going to be something to handle Lapras, please. Gastrodon, I need something. Give me like Hitmontop or Melmetal. 
No, 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 no. I got Golbat. Okay, Golbat's good, but I'm gonna be weak to the Lapras. Okay, well, here we go. Round three, the final round. What do we got? We got a Gastrodon on the lead. Gastrodon versus Golbat. Oh, this is not good. Oh no. This is not great to... There's gonna be a body slam. I think I can take this. Let's see here. We just gotta go for body slam spams. Hope for the best. And then do I bait or just go for a shadow ball to get shield advantage? I think we'll go for a shadow ball. Gastrodon's pretty thick though. I think it survives a shadow ball. Now, if he does have that Ivysaur that I remember seeing, could be great to bait that out because that would do great against our uh, Clefable in the back. Two, three. That was a missed time there by me. Um, it's not gonna do much. Gastrodon is tanky, but it really doesn't have a lot of damage output. Like, look, that tickles. We gotta swap out into Ivysaur. I'm just gonna throw Surfs. We just wanna get some chip damage on this thing. I don't think it's really worth going for the Skull Bash and not getting this uh, valuable chip damage. So we're unfortunately gonna have to shield Surfs. This is bad. This is actually amazing for us because now this opens up Clefable in the back end to do a lot of damage. We should get even shields here, unless they just let it go and he comes in and farms with uh, Golbat. No, he just lets it go. He's gonna come in with that Golbat. All right, we'll let that go. Do we want to wait at the switch clock? No, there's no point really. Yeah, Golbat's coming in. Let's see. I think we get to a power. We'll go ahead and throw the Poison Fang right here. I am actually, am I gonna have to shield? If he goes straight Shadow Ball, this is okay. But we did get the Lapras out of the way. And we went Poison Fang. We get the... No! Hey! I had the sludge bomb, my dude! Oh, they don't even get to a move. That's amazing. So we have shield advantage. What is gonna come in here is the question. Do I wanna debuff it is the question. All right. That is not good. He's got his own goal bat. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a shadow ball. Oh no, oh no. All right. This is not great, to be honest. Oh, 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 two, two, counted two. All right, here we go. That was a Cle that's a Clefairy in the back, or Clefable. <laughs> the fact that he has double poison is the end of us now. I'm gonna over farm here because I don't want him catching. I don't think I'm gonna get to another move. We have to throw a Meteor Mash here and then we can throw another Meteor Mash at the goal bat. Oh no. But if I get farmed down here, we might lose. This Meteor Mash is gonna hurt. Oh no, please. Survive. This is gonna be super close. He's gonna have like almost triple Poison Fang here. I have to shield everything. I have to get to a Poison Fang pretty much before he gets to triple. But I think because of that farm down, he might make it. Oh no, I didn't get enough shields. That is so unfortunate. Oh. Man. Oh, if he has back to back here, we lose. But if not, I think the wing attack should go through. <laughs> this is super close. Don't have the back to back. Yep, he gets game three. Good game there, Daxi. Oh, we got it right in the end. GG's to Zionic. That was a super close battle. I had thought I had him, but I didn't think Golbat would have such a good matchup in the back, obviously. Oh, I could have given it, I could have given it all the shields and it would have swept that game for me. You win some, you lose some. Overall, that was, uh, that was really fun. Yeah, thanks, Daxi, for having me on. Good games. Anyway, huge shout out to Zionic, as always, for hopping on the channel, guys. Go check out his channel if you want some of the best PvP content in the Pokemon Go community right now. You can check out all the different battles he has, and he showcases so many great Pokemon, so many great teams, and so many great trainers. With that being said, though, comment below, as always, who you want to see me rematch next for the Pokemon Go PvP Showdown series. See you next one. Follow for more tips. Peace.